This is your LMAX Exchange technical update for Tuesday, October 17, 2017. Euro dollar. So the euro continues to show possible signs of wanting to top out here in 2017. We've already seen the formation of a triggered head and shoulders top that projects setbacks to 115.55. And now we're seeing the possibility of a right shoulder of an even bigger head and shoulders formation. And if the market holds below 119.10 on a close basis and breaks back down below what's the neckline at 116.63 by the August low, that low going back to the 17th of August, that would trigger a bigger head and shoulders top formation targeting a drop all the way down into the 112s. And so it's an interesting point here, a critical inflection point. Are we seeing a bullish consolidation that ultimately will just see the market now continue higher with setbacks limited? Or is this market about to roll over for a more prominent, uh, bigger head and shoulders top? It's interesting here also that the 100 day moving average is starting to coincide with that neckline which comes in in the 116.60 area. When we saw that break below the 50-day moving average that coincided with the previous head and shoulders break so we'll see how that plays out uh, overall again while we hold below 119.10 certainly at a minimum there's no reason for looking for any bullish continuation in the euro just yet sterling dollar so cable has seen a little bit of a bounce out from that support that was seen just ahead of 130 overall the outlook here is constructive following the breakout earlier this year above 127.75 which suggested that this market has put in a longer term base and so the market should be very well supported on dips in favor of continued upside However, on a short-term basis, this doesn't rule out the possibility for some more choppy trade and another downside break even below 130.27 and even a little bit below 130 ahead of an eventual push higher. So don't rule out short-term choppiness and the possibility for pullbacks, but setbacks here should ultimately be very well supported around the 130 area ahead of the next major upside extension here, back above the 2017 high around 136.60 and towards 140 and beyond. Dollar Yen. Dollar Yen has been rolling over after the market stalled out in the 113s. This is a market that has been trading within a range roughly between 114 and 108 over the past several months. And so with the market rolling over, it does suggest that potentially we could see the market trade back down towards the range lows and even a retest of the 2017 low that was seen only a few weeks back in early September at 107.32. It would take a break back above the recent high up at 113.44 about to take the immediate pressure off the downside and expose a drop, uh, a rally of about 100 points potentially into the range resistance in the 114.50 area. Euro Swiss. Euro Swiss just gliding along here, trading sideways over the past several weeks. But it's important here to note that the market has seen a constructive development in 2017, breaking back above some important resistance at 110 and then 112. And this leaves open the possibility for a continuation of gains as the structure has shifted uh, to the bullish side through the recent high at 116.24, exposing a rally up towards critical resistance now that was previous support at 120 going back to January of 2015. Aussie dollar. So Aussie has recovered out from recent lows in the 77s, but the market at this point is still showing signs of topping out in 2017 off of plus two year highs at 81.26. That was seen back in September. And so this rally should look for a lower top here ahead of a fresh downside extension below 77.34 and down towards the 75 area. Only a close back above 80 would really delay or compromise this outlook that sees the market trading lower. Dollar CAD. Dollar CAD has seen the onset of a correction after the market had been in an intense decline for much of uh, recent months in 2017, seeing a big drop off from what had been 2017 highs up near 140, trading all the way down to the 120 handle, the 120 area, not quite to 120. Um, and um, a drop of over 10%. So finally seeing a minor correction here, which has every uh, possibility to continue to extend here up towards next key resistance at 2780 in the form of the August peak. At this point here, setbacks should be well supported ahead of 123. Kiwi dollar, the New Zealand dollar seeing a nice little bounce out from recent support at 7132. 
but overall here just like with Aussie dollar the market is showing signs of topping out in 2017 off of its plus two year high above 75 and so this rally while it is completely reasonable it's viewed as corrective a lower top is ideally sought out somewhere ahead of or around 73 in favor of the continuation of setbacks and below a recent support uh, that has come in now which is at uh, 7056 about uh, which would then expose a drop down towards uh, the 6818-2017 low. SPX 500, same story with the S&P 500, not willing to relent, continuing to push to fresh record highs. No signs of any pullback at the moment. We would need to see a break back below 2487. That's the low that we had seen uh, all the way back on the 25th of September right here. Uh, to uh, negate or at least take the immediate pressure off the top side. Any setbacks that we do see in the interim are not really classified as anything more than minor setbacks and at a minimum we would need to see a break below 2487 to eliminate or alleviate the uh, immediate top side pressure here as this market continues to run to record highs. Gold. So gold, once again, very well supported despite sharp pullbacks. We've seen sharp pullbacks over the past several months, each time being very well supported on dips. And so this latest setback has been supported in the 1260 area. And it looks like the market is wanting to now trade back up to a fresh 2017 high beyond 1357, which would expose a direct retest of the 2016 peak at 1375 further up.